Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a warning from the Lord. It is a serious warning from our Lord Jesus Christ. On it was on Friday and we were in a fasting program in the church um, in the month of September 2017 that the Lord actually gave me this warning as we were in the program it's like sleep came upon me and I, I, I dozed off as I slept I had a revelation it was like we were in a church service there were members in the church and then the next thing I saw was that a mermaid from the window entered the church like breeze just entered the church she was partly human and partly a fish a female from her waist upward was a woman then from her waist downward legs fish she entered the church and became a normal human being so what i saw was that after she i i, I wrote it down so that i would not forget i want to read it out to us she entered the church through the window. God said, These are marine spirits that are in the church to seduce my children. Then I saw water overflowing from the sea and entered the church. I saw wave, very high wave. Immediately the mermaid entered the church. I saw wave that rolled and entered the church. It was like the, a, a sea over flowed its back and the water flooded the church and when this happened god said to me that if one of them marine agents succeeds in entering the church then what they do is that they prepare the ground and cause other ones to come from the marine world and enter the church that was the interpretation the lord gave me concern about the water that overflowed from the sea and the Lord said when they come in they invite other ones in order to destroy the church of God and the Lord told me that uh, there are three ways they actually operate that the first one the, the one of the ways they operate is that when they enter the church the first thing they do is either they look for the serious-minded Christian, those who are prayerful, those who are living a life of holiness, what they do is that they attack them in order to reduce the power of the Lord and also to kind of divert their attention from the true worship of the living God through any diverse, diverse means. They want to divert their attention and reduce the fire of the Lord of the Lord that is burning inside of them. Then also, I God also revealed that one of the ways they do the they operate in the church is that it's like their body is uh, electrified. They have electrical currents, but it is spiritual. It's not the normal electrical current we have. And when the Lord was revealing this to me, I saw. Uh, um, I, 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 how do I explain this? For instance, when they are checking somebody's uh, pulse or reading somebody's vital signs, and what you see in the computer that runs like this, so I don't know what it's called. So that is what I saw. It's like electrical current, electrical wave. So the Lord said, if the checks have a hand shake with someone, they could transfer this electrical current into the person and reduce the person spiritually if you are not very very strong in the lord and prayerful and the lord also told me that the third one of the ways which is the third way that the lord revealed to me i am not saying that these are the only ways but particularly as it concerns this revelation this vision this is what the lord revealed to me i I saw this lady, she proceeded to the altar and she silenced the pastor. The one that was ministering to the people, she silenced the pastor and the pastor became a spiritual dummy. This pastor became dumb spiritually and was no longer 
watchful. And the Lord said, when they decide, whenever they decide to go straight to the altar to attack the man of God, they can shower gifts on the man of God and uh, kind of become very close and good to the man of God in order to look for ways to actually launch their attack. And the Lord said, not all of them go close to the man of God. There are some of them, they stay very, very far away from the man of God. And they will be operating among the members, among the church members. They will be operating there. They will not like to come close to the man of God. They avoid one-on-one -on -one contact with the man of God. They will just be destroying in the midst of the congregation. And the Lord said that... They do this because they don't want any one-on-one -on -one, uh, contact with the man of God because the man of God will at, at least correct them. So they avoid this correction. They don't want it. And the Lord told me that lots of persons are representing Jezebel, that they are carrying the spirit of Jezebel. And this is what they bring into the church in order to seduce the servants of the Lord. The next thing that God told me before the revelation was over, the vision was over, was that if any man of God allows these people in their churches to dress seductively and to seduce the children of God, that God is going to hold them responsible. God is going to hold them accountable because it, the, every pastor, every man of God is a shepherd. There are sheep in your care. You have some who are weak. You have others who are young. You have others who are bruised. You have others who are just kids and just coming up. So if you allow these people, if you allow the wolf to come into the, 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 the sheep pen and devour the sheep as a shepherd, you will be held responsible. I just want to use this opportunity to tell you that the Lord has revealed several things to me about indecent dressing i mean even this week the lord revealed to me i saw a lady uh, what she was putting on i saw a backside what she was putting on was very tight and the lord said you see this type no matter how spiritual my children claim to be if anybody can condescend stoop so low to dress like this no matter how much they confess and believe in me, they will never see my kingdom. But they will find their place in the lake of fire because my kingdom is holy. Please be watchful. The church is filled up with different kind of people today. Mind who you befriend even in the church. When people come to you and try to be very good to you, please Ask God to give you the spirit of discernment so that you sh should be able, you can be able to know who has the spirit of the Lord and who is operating with the spirit of Jezebel. Also, men of God, please be careful the kind of dressing you allow in your church. Jesus is not happy. The church is not a clubhouse. It is a holy place. We are royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people that has been called out of darkness into the marvelous light of God. Addressing to show people who Jesus is. We shouldn't bring confusion to people. People don't see our faith, but they see what we put on. Please, if you don't belong to the kingdom of darkness, do not say it is ignorant. Do not say it is your culture. If your culture does not is not in alignment with the culture of the Bible and of the teaching and doctrine of Jesus Christ, it will not take you anywhere. If you don't belong to them, don't behave like them. If you are a child of God, dress like Mary. If you are a child of God, dress like Elizabeth, not like Jezebel. Please share this message. If you have any question, drop your question. By the special grace of God, I am going to reach back to you. Please visit my website egoeyeopener.com where I post some of these revelations that the Lord has given to me. You can also reach uh, my other YouTube channel, Biblical Sexual Purity, where the Lord is helping me to address sexual issues, which is a command that the Lord has given to me, sexual issues and also teach people how they can live holy and sexually 
pure lives in a world that is drunk with sexual immorality. Please pray for me as I also pray for you. The Lord is near. Thank you very much and God bless you. Bye-bye.